Hey everyone, if you're about to start taking organic chemistry, you are in luck. I made this video just for you. I'm gonna give you a list of the seven supplies that I recommend for all students taking OCHEM, starting out with number one, your textbook. And if you don't like the book that your professor requires, which happens sometimes, my advice is to pick up a very old, very cheap copy of David Klein's textbook called Organic Chemistry. It's amazing and a second edition is only about $20. Number two, get a model kit. These save you so much time and mental effort, they are well worth your money. If you only buy one thing from my list, it should be your textbook, but if it's not your textbook, this should be it. I have a video breakdown of a couple different model kits that I've posted in the description below. Get one, you won't regret it. Number three, flashcards. You don't need to buy anything fancy. You can just use cheap index cards or cut up pieces of paper. There will always be a few things that you need to memorize throughout the year. When I was a student, flashcards saved my life in OCHEM. And yeah, check out that erasable pen. That's the next thing on my list. Number four, colored pens or pencils. It's standard to write in a few different colors in organic chemistry. I personally am in love with pilot friction pens. So are most of my students. And while I'm on the topic of pilot friction, literally everything they make is amazing. They also have highlighters and markers and they erase so good you won't believe it. If you don't like to write with pens, no worries. Both Bic and Crayola have legit erasable colored pencils. I would have loved these as a student. They write really well, they erase cleanly. The big ones do break kind of easy, so if you write with a lot of pressure, I wouldn't recommend those. Number five, unlined paper. Lined paper just doesn't work great for OCHEM. I recommend dot grid paper like this. This notebook is actually really, really nice. I also recommend blank paper or even just graph paper. Just make sure the lines aren't too dark. Number six, stencils. If you like your notes to be neat, a stencil is the way to go. This one here is my personal favorite. I think it has the most useful assortment of shapes out of all the ones I've seen on Amazon. This isn't a requirement. Your instructor will be able to deal with your horrible drawings. Don't feel like you need to buy this. This is just an extra thing. Last but not least, supplements. If you're looking for a non-textbook supplement, I recommend the Four Dummies books. There are two types. One is a workbook, one is not, it's just personal preference. They are definitely not comprehensive, meaning that they don't cover everything that's in your book, your textbook, but they explain things in everyday language that might be helpful when your textbook is confusing. Hey, I've got links to all these things in the description of this video. And as an Amazon affiliate, I do make a little commission if you purchase things using my links. As a single mom with a kid in college, I really appreciate all the extra help that I get from you guys. You're awesome, supportive. Thank you so much for all the love.